I must confess something. I have a love-hate relationship with UAG. On the one hand, I absolutely love their case designs and cases in general. On the other hand, they used to have very weak magnets on the cases. So how is it this year? I'm glad to say there is some difference. So today we're looking at the Monarch Pro, the civilian, and then we have two models of the Plyo and the Pathfinder and the Essential Armor. Starting out with the one that just looks the best out of the bunch, the Monarch Pro. This one is a very tough case, almost impossible to bend, yet it's still a little flexible. Clicky enough buttons, and a very smooth fit around the iPhone. Easy to get off the phone too, metal plates on the back, and finally the Kevlar details. Now talking about details, the sides have this honeycomb pattern, which just looks awesome. The blocky corners make sure your iPhone is well protected and it looks cool doing it. So far, so good, right? Yes, well, MagSafe works, but I don't expect wonders from the strength. And to be honest, I would not use that on my car holder. It's just too weak. And I'm sure it will fall off with some road bumps. Something else which I love to see is a button for the action button instead of a cutout like this. The cutout isn't practical. Other than that, it has good front protection and features those stands on the back so that the case won't have any wobble. Now the funny thing is, I've already put this case in my top 10 cases video, the UAG Plyo. These are everything I want from a case and also have their MagSafe upgraded for some reason. I would love to know why UAG only upgraded these and decided to leave pretty much everything in the dark, but last year these were very weak too. This year though, they have even released the Plyo with the blacked out design, which I absolutely love. These will also never yellow, and even though I've never experienced yellowing myself on the Plyo, Yet, I would still read your comments and you guys keep telling me that they do. So that's why I recommend the blacked out version. If you still want to go for a clear case, the Plyo is awesome. Depending on how much you wash your hands, clean your case and stay in the sun all day, these will probably yellow accordingly. And most cases yellow due to skin oils anyway. On the clear case, you can clearly see how much extra protection the UAG Plyo offers. Of course, in true UAG fashion, those stands on the back here too, so no wobbling, clicky buttons for days, and the same front protection as with the Monarch Pro. Although one complaint would be that previously, the Plyo was easier to remove from the phone. Then we have the Pathfinder, which is the little brother of the Monarch Pro. And it's pretty much the same on all fronts, except material choice. It also has less of a pattern on the side, which means it's definitely a little slippier than the Monarch, with its honeycomb pattern. Buttons are very clicky though, so they are definitely consistent on that front. I like the design on the back, which still gives you a glimpse of the original color of your iPhone, while still giving it that whole different feel. MagSafe is just as bad as his bigger brother though, so I wouldn't trust it with a MagSafe wallet or any car holders. And therefore, I cannot recommend it. It also doesn't have a button for the action button, but a cutout. Then, I was already expecting the worst from the civilian, as last year wasn't good either. There was a time with the iPhone 13 Pro where this case was actually awesome. Much more like the Plyo case, as far as feeling goes. But now they've dumped that for a plasticky feeling, more like the Pathfinder. Now MagSafe is just as horrible as with the Monarch or the Pathfinder, or maybe even worse. And thus, everything I mentioned about that also applies here. No action button, but a cutout. The only positive thing I have to say about this case is that the buttons are godlike. So clicky and really easy to navigate to while in your hand. I also still like the green-orange design. Sadly, UAG left this one in the dark too, and it feels like a copy-paste from the previous year. And that leaves us with the Essential Armor. Funny enough, they've upgraded this one too, but downgraded it also. And that's great news for MagSafe fans, as you now got a choice to make between the Plyo or the Essential Armor, and it's horrible news for the ones that love the silicon type feel on the Essential Armor, which it had previously. Because they dumped that, just like the civilian, for a more plasticky type of feel. 
They've upgraded the magnet strength here, or at least designed it differently, because it's noticeably better than with every other case here. And that's proof. <laughs> If you want to choose between the plyo and this one, the plyo is definitely grippier, but the essential armor feels grippier than the pathfinder if that makes sense. It's like the pathfinder but without the extra details on the back, and like I said a little grippier material. The rest feels the same really, but I think the essential armor is another good choice this year, especially since it has that sleek look but still feels like a strong case. Now could you imagine UAG sponsoring today's video? Yeah, me neither. And that's why I would love your support. Subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with my latest videos, or even use my affiliate links in the description. Thank you all so much, and for now, have an awesome day.